Thank you, Lord, for this uh, Lord's Day morning and uh, the people uh, who are here so that we can offer you the praises uh, from our hearts and make a joyful noise as the choir sang. Uh, so majestic uh, were uh, uh, the words uh, that uh, were expressed and we are uh, uh, thankful. Thank you, choir, and thank you, Ishman. Uh, who braved uh, the peril or the uh, risk of uh, coming here, knowing that we have a far greater uh, physician who can take care of both our body and our souls in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, we need not uh, fear, especially when we are uh, meeting with the Lord. He will uh, cover us, he will wrap us up, uh, with uh, his uh, crimson blood uh, that none of uh, uh, the uh, 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 things that uh, may uh, bring dread or uh, dangers and toys or snails uh, would succeed because no greater authority and power uh, has any person under the sun, not even the demons nor the devil, uh, not uh, any dictator uh, is uh, greater than uh, our Lord who is alone almighty. So I greet you with a pleasant good morning this uh, Lord's Day morning. And uh, those of you that are with us online, may uh, the Lord even uh, bless you through the uh, uh, spiritual uh, uh, food that we are about to uh, partake for the nourishment of our uh, souls. So thank you. And this morning's message is very, very common. And I suppose right now, you can uh, recite ninyo ito na nang uh, uh, walang kahirap-hirap. At ang menesaheng ito ay, ano nga ba yun? Dahil sa daming tinamukong anestesya. <laughs> Medyo nagkakaliw. Please share. Ano ba yun? Message, Brother Robert. Or anyone. <laughs> okay, anyway. The message this morning is something that is quite familiar uh, with, uh, I suppose, most of us. At ito ay ang uh, salita ng ating Panginoong Swisto in Red Letter Edition Bible na ito ay sinabi ng Panginoon is really solemn and sober as well as a serious reminder to each believer then and to this very day that I stand before you. The message this morning is entitled, No Man Can Serve Two Masters. Okay? Wala raw sinamang tao ang makapaglilingkod sa dalawang Panginoon. Okay? May the Lord bless. As we open our Bibles, please, uh, to the book of Luke. This is a passage that is, in many cases, nabubuksan at uh, na dadala sa harapan ng mga uh, taong dumadalo sa bahay-sambahan, especially in uh, mission conferences or uh, in any special occasions as a reminder. But the point that I would like to drive home sa umagang ito, since we are dealing with the hard sayings of Jesus Christ. Dito ay uh, medyo, kung hindi natin suriing maigi, uh, like others, ay, uh, we would succumb to uh, uh, some beliefs na ang ating Panginoon ay hindi uh, makatarungan, uh, He is not just, at ang ating Panginoon ay pinapupurihan niya uh, at kinalulugdan niya ang uh, hindi uh, 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 makadiyos o maayos na pamamaraan o gawain. That is not so. That's why this is one of the difficult sayings of our Lord Jesus Christ. And most everyone know that the uh, 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 passage that we are about to uh, read this morning, I, it has to do with the parable of the unjust steward. At uh, uh, dito ay, I am sure, may matututunan tayong bagay na makatutulong sa atin 
sa ating paghahanda uh, sa pagbabalik ng Panginoon o kaya whichever comes first o kaya tayo ay tawagin na sa presensya ng Panginoon only God knows when and how uh, we are to uh, depart from this life at pagharap natin sa Kanya ay wala tayong pagsisisihan o ikahihiya na hindi tayo maayos sa ating uh, pagiging mga katiwala at mga ipinagkaloob na mga bagay na bagay o blessings sa atin ng Panginoon this side of heaven. Because each one of us, I, we are uh, merely passing through this world. We are not going to be permanent in this world. We are just passing by, headed for a celestial city whose maker and being that is God. The best place you can ever uh, set foot on. So I would like us to please open to Luke chapter 16 at ating basahin sa verse 1 uh, to verse uh, Luke chapter 16 verse 1 to verse 13. Okay, sapagkat uh, ang uh, verse 13 ang ating uh, hanguan ng mensaheng ito upang tayo ay mahamon sa salita ng Panginoon na tayo ay hindi mga madudugas o mandaraya o mga magnanakaw o hindi maayos ang ating buhay. We are uh, living a double standard life. Okay? O half-hearted tayo sa ating mga paglilingkod uh, sa Panginoon. I suppose kung ma mangyari yon ay dahil hindi natin monowan kung ano ang katotohan ng ipinaparating ng Panginoon dito sa salitang ito, you cannot serve two masters uh, ang sabi dito sa ating talata, no uh, uh, servant or no man can serve uh, two masters. Uh, may mga misconceptions dito. Uh, dito sa mundong ibabaw ay uh, halos ang mga tao ay maaring magpatayan dahil dito sa commodity ito o sa uh, 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 pinapanginoon ng uh, sanglibotang ito uh, na uh, dahil dito ay dapat maunawaan natin talaga ang tunay na kahulugan ng pagiging katiwala lamang ng Panginoon. Uh, the truth of the matter is that this uh, presses home to us from the heart and lips of our Jesus Christ, the truth of God's ownership of all things. All the earth and the fullness thereof. All source are mine. All the silver and the gold are mine. All the cattle on a thousand hill are mine. Everything that you have and you are belongs to God as creator owner. But it please God na kayo ay maging kanyang katiwala. Man's stewardship. But more than that, we are going to stick to the subject on walang sino mang tao o lalo na krisyano ang makapaglilingkod sa Diyos o sa mamon o kaya you cannot uh, uh, have two masters in your life and what the Lord expects from us as I will respond to Him. Okay? So let's read from verse 1 ng chapter 16 to verse 13 although most of the time I dito tayo sa verse 13 and just support it with the passage. Okay, verse 1 to verse 13. I would like to call on uh, a brother na sarapan na, brother JP uh, na manguna sa pagbabasa uh, ng uh, salita ng Diyos. Verse 1 to verse 13. Luke chapter 16, verse 1. And he said also unto his disciples, There was a certain rich man which had a steward, and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods. Verse 2, And he called him and said unto him, How is it that I hear this of thee? Give an account of thy stewardship, for thou mayest be no longer steward. Then the steward said within himself, What shall I do? For my Lord taketh away from me the stewardship. 
I cannot dig to beg, I am ashamed. I am resolved what to do that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So he called every one of his Lord's debtors unto him and said unto the first, How much owest thou unto my Lord? And he said, An hundred measures of oil. And he said unto him, Take thy will and sit down quickly and write fifty. Then said he to another, And how much owest thou? And he said, An hundred measures of wheat. And he said unto him, Take thy bill, and write fourscore. And the Lord commanded the unjust steward, because he had done wisely. For the children of this world are in their generation wiser than the children of light. And I say unto you, Make to yourselves friends of the mammon of unrighteousness, that when ye fail, they may receive you into everlasting habitations. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. If therefore ye have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? And if ye have not been faithful in that which is another man's, who shall give you that which is your own? No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you this Lord's Day morning that we could gather, even though uh, the weather has changed, and uh, yet we thank you that you uh, withheld the rain, so that we can be able to come and uh, uh, be where we are today. Bless even those that are with us online, and I pray especially for those that may be beset with some infirmities as we regularly pray for those that are in their sick beds and for full recovery for Brother Rafi, for Brother Reggie, Sister Emma, and others, Lord, that uh, are being uh, prayed for and remembered. And I uh, pray, Father, for Brother and Sister uh, Danny Isip and uh, uh, the family and the believers in Sydney uh, who are under uh, strict uh, uh, quarantine or lockdown for uh, uh, some weeks uh, due to the... Uh, uh, Delta variant that uh, threatened uh, uh, the place. And I thank you for our foreign missions as well as local ones. And may you keep each one safe uh, from uh, this uh, dreaded uh, virus. And we also pray for uh, Brother Titus and uh, uh, Jeff who are uh, working on board their respective ships. May you uh, keep them safe from heart and harm. And I do pray, Father, that you would uh, just speak to each of our hearts, uh, that uh, we might uh, be uh, responsive, uh, so that as you would uh, require us uh, to be uh, faithful in our uh, management of everything about our lives and uh, our uh, gifts, may you get the glory, and may we also understand what you would have us uh, to learn from uh, this uh, parable, and especially on what you said, that it's really hard to serve two masters, uh, uh, to serve uh, God and mammon, and impress the truth, and help us grow in grace and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the blessings upon Israel as uh, uh, an answer to prayers, and also I pray that you would deliver our country uh, from uh, the uh, disunity uh, that uh, may uh, be existing. And uh, Lord, I pray that you would uh, give uh, those in authorities uh, that uh, uh, one mind so that they could uh, uh, attend to the ills of the country. And thank you for uh, this Lord's Day morning. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory, all because of Jesus and for his marvelous grace that uh, was uh, shed in our hearts through the indwelling spirit. 
Amen. No man can serve uh, two uh, masters. Dito sa binasang talata na no doubt sinunda natin ay kapunapo na ito na uh, talagang nagkakaroon ng hindi pagkakaunawaan ang iba-ibang mga mangangaral at uh, nagbabasa o nag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos. And I hope that I can give you my uh, uh, position, my view on this matter uh, na ito ay makatulong sa atin. Kasi tulad yan sa isang bata, isang araw, for the first time, ay isinaman ng kanyang ama uh, sa isang Christian church ang uh, kanyang five-year-old uh, o kaya uh, four to five-year-old na anak sa church for the first time. At nung uh, naroon na sila nakaupo, ay uh, dumating ang sandali ng offertory na uh, yung uh, collection ay ipapasan ng uh, mga uh, uh, ushers at pagdating doon sa kanilang harapan, yung uh, talagang uh, galak na galak na bata na kasama na for the first time sa church at pagkatapos dumadaan doon yung offering, hindi niya may umunawaan kung bakit, ay tinignan niya ang kanyang ama at sinabi niya sa kanyang tatay, uh, Papa, huwag mo akong ibayad. Wala pa naman akong uh, uh, limang taon pataas. Uh, uh, nasa baba pa ako. Hindi pa ako uh, na uh, uh, required na uh, magbayad. Bakit kaya ganon? Kasi siguro madalas sila pumupunta sa mga recreation places or whatever uh, amusement uh, 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 parks or places that requires payment. Kaya nga lang uh, nakakapasok siya sapagkat wala pa siyang limang taon. Okay? Kung hindi nyo naunawaan, naunawaan that's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Dito sa uh, binasang talata na no doubt ng bawat isa sa atin at kasama ang mga kapatirang o kaya uh, mga uh, uh, kasama natin sa online na hindi uh, uh, member ng church ay ating uh, mapapansin ito sa simula pa lang ng salitang ito ng Panginoon na walang taong makapag-alilingkod sa dalawang Panginoon. Hindi kayo pwedeng maglingkod sa Diyos at uh, sa mamon. Okay? What is the Lord trying to drive home sa ating mga uh, buhay? Okay? Uh, most cases, what we understand is, kung may mga conferences or convention, conventions, stewardship convention, it revolves around money matters. But as far as I am concerned and uh, discovered, uh, on what the Lord Jesus Christ is really saying, I, I believe, uh, na in a way, makakatulong ito sa atin. Una sa lahat, ay dapat natin apansinin na sa nagdaang chapter, ay naroon ang isang pinakatanyag na parabola ng Panginoon on the parable of the prodigal son. Ang kanyang buhay was spelled from riches to ragsya. Ang kanyang buhay ay spelled ito na kung saan nung sa pilitang hiningi niya ang kanyang mana sa kanyang may, mayamang ama ay siya lumayo at doon sa far country ay kanyang winaldas. It was a wasteful, riotous living and he discovered that he was at a total loss of almost everything except the life that he had. So that's why he remembered his father. At dito, tanda natin please, doon ay he wasted his father's goods. Dito rin naman ay ganun rin itong steward dito Sa chapter 16, the parable of the unjust steward. Oh, he wasted rain. Kaya nga, sa kabila nito, ang pinagtatalonan dito ay sa kabila ng kanyang uh, uh, pagwawaldas, he 
he embezzled uh, uh, his uh, uh, master's uh, or his lord's uh, goods. At dahil dito ay nabigla siya nang siya ay tinawag upang magbigay uh, uh, account uh, sa uh, kanyang pagiging katiwala at doon siya nakapag-isip-isip ng seryoso uh, otherwise uh, everything about him would be forfeited at ang sabi niya well pag inalis sa akin ang pagtitiwala niya ay may edad na ako hindi na ako uh, pwede magtrabaho at Uh, may hiya ako manlimos today due to the pandemic uh, you will read sa face, uh, Facebook na napakaraming mga dati mga celebrity sa pinilakang tabing na kung saan sila ay they were ju reduced sa nothingness at pagkatapos sila ang iba ay namamalimos na lang sino sa inyo nakakita nito from uh, rugs to riches sila ang mga uh, beauty uh, uh, actresses, beautiful actresses and uh, uh, actors at uh, matindi ang kanilang uh, uh, kinatatayuan ngayon. Kahabag-habag. Dati kasikatan ngayon ay hindi na halos nga sila maalala o makilala sa kanilang mga anyo na sila ay namamalimos na lang. Wow! What a pitiful sight! Sana may iwasan natin ito. But at least, itong, uh, itong unjust o waldas na katiwala after he embezzled uh, the goods, the manis of uh, his uh, master, natauhan siya. Kaya gumawa siya ng paraan na itong paraan ito ay maling paraan. Subalit ating mapapansin dito na iba ito. Uh, this is where this dissimilarity na iba ito sa tunay na katayuan ng Diyos at ng ating Panginoon Kristo na yung kanyang maling uh, gawain from embezzlement at pagkatapos sa kanyang pagiging shrewd at smart para hindi siya maling paraan at hindi siya matanggal sa kanyang pagiging katiwala ay yung kanyang amo ay pinapurihan siya. Remember, The Lord will never praise us nor commend us for any wrongdoing, for dishonesty, for injustice, for whatever we do that runs contrary to the righteousness, the holiness, and the justice of God. Uh, remember that. So, dito ay hindi yung nakukuhang mensahe. It's all about money matters. Eh. Kaya, There are three things that I would like to simply pass on to you uh, na dapat malaman natin. First of all, the message na in intention ng Panginoon na maalala at malaman natin that no man can serve two masters. Okay? Walang sino mang makapa maaring makapaglingkod sa dalawang Panginoon. Sa dalawang amo. Okay? So dito yung... Ating mapapansin, the first thing is the message of uh, 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 the, the Lord on uh, these words. The message, no man can, kasi para maiwasan na lang yun, I'll just use one word. The message on the saying, no man can serve two masters. First of all, dapat makilala natin dito na itong uh, salitang ito na ibinigay ng Panginoon and to help uh, 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 one uh, 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 the audience ay ito ay salita na dinala ng Panginoon sa specific audience na ito ay intended ng Panginoon primarily sa mga disciples sa mga Kristiyano kasi non Christians will ever admit uh, that they are merely stewards ng, uh, ng Diyos they are not really the owners kaya pagdating ng judgment day mas malaki ang kanilang pananagutan ang kanilang condemnation okay so tingnan niyo please sa verse 1 and he said also 
unto his disciples. Previously, ay ito ay sa mga scribes and Pharisees. Dito, to the disciples and audience. And of course, while the Lord Jesus Christ spoke this uh, uh, message to the disciples, to believers in particular, ay binubuntutan siya ng mga Pharisees at mga scribes, ng mga uh, publicans at ng mga sinners. These four classes of people uh, were just uh, curious uh, to uh, hear the Lord at sila ay bumubuntot, although intended ito for uh, the disciples, for believers only. Okay? So, ang uh, mga disciples, the first time na sila ay matutuklasan natin, na sila ay they were tapped into stewardship, they were called by the Lord to a stewardship, ay ang salitang steward at stewardship ay mapapansin natin dito sa verse 2, verse uh, 3, and two times dito. Kapuna po na ito na para maintindihan natin ng lubusan at maayos ang pagkaunawa natin sa mensaheng ito ng Panginoon, imposible makapaglingkod tayo sa dalawang Panginoon. Ay dapat maalaman natin ang mga kaulugan sa likod ng mga terminong ito. What is a steward? A steward ay ating mapapansin ay ito ay Ibig sabihin, katiwala. Okay? Sa so Luke chapter 16 verse 18, ay ibig sabihin nito, steward ay someone uh, uh, sa, sa audience na ito, doon ay pinalam kagad ng Panginoon. Uh, first na ito ay it was impressed upon the minds of the apostles, the immediate ones, the apostles that comprised the first or early church, the nucleus of the church, so, so to speak, and then to every officer ng church, the bishops and the deacons, as well as all leaders ng churches, and it does not in any way exclude members of the churches. Na ito ay ating mapapansin, ng ibig sabihin ng steward ay it means, okay, manager, okay, it means administrator. It means trusty. Okay? Na itong salitang uh, steward, uh, it comes from an original Greek word na binubuo ng dalawang salita, masculine noun, na ang salitang ito ay oiko, na ito ay oikonomos. Ang salitang oiko or oikos, in the New Testament, it speaks to, it means a house, oikos, or oiko. The second word is nemo, kinumbahin ito. Ang ibig sabihin ng uh, nemo, to manage. And the best example, I suppose, of the word uh, uh, steward, ay naalala ba ninyo si Joseph in Egypt? At nung siya, uh, he was released or freed from uh, freedom at siya ay naroon sa tahanan uh, ni Potiphar. Lahat sa uh, 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 tahanan ni Potiphar ay ipak, pinagkatiwala ni Potiphar uh, sa pag-iingat ng steward na si Joseph. Sabi, sabi niya, ikaw ang aking tagapamahala dito sa loob ng aking ba, uh, bahay maliban kay Mrs. And you know this story, end of the story kay Joseph. Okay, nakita na ninyo? Okay. So it means an administrator, a manager, a trustee of someone to be in charge of uh, his household. So dito ay ating mapapansin. The second word that uh, we have to consider maliban dito that you and I are merely steward ng Panginoon. We are not real owners of anything under the sun. When we arrived in this world, we came as babies, as infants, with nothing. Wala tayong kasusot nung tayo dumating dito sa sanglibutan. At alis tayo dito sa sanglibutan, wala rin tayong kadaladala. 
lahat maiwanan. Right? Maiwanan natin lahat. Kaya nga lang, isa sa mga palala dito ng Panginoon, huwag nawa ninyong makalimutan na merong mas mabait, makatarungan uh, at maayos na Panginoon. Iyan ay walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoon. So, the second thing that we must understand in the message of the Lord, na sabi niya, no man can serve two masters, okay? Either because you will either love one, uh, 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 one and hate the other. That's just it. The second thing that we should consider here ay ang salitang mamon. Ang salitang mamon in connection with this hard saying ng Panginoon ay it appears in this particular verse or passage it appears three times. And uh, to complete uh, the appearance of the word ang salitang mamon ay it also appears doon sa Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 na sinabi rin ng Panginoon the same thing. No man can serve two masters for either he will love one and hate the other. You cannot serve God and mamon. Sabali, four times. Ang salitang mamon, hindi ito yung mamon na kinakain. Yung salitang mamon ay original na ito ay galing sa Aramaic na salita. Tanda natin please, ang Bible ay, lalo ng New Testament, ay it's written in Hebrew, Greek, and itong partly Aramaic. Dahil sa kanilang uh, sojourn in exile uh, sa Babylon. And they are from Chaldea. So di, dito yung ating mapapansin, four times na ginamit ito. First of all, let us uh, learn what mammon means. Ang salitang uh, Aramaic na mammon ay is a masculine noun also na ito ay galing sa original na salitang Aramaic na ito ay uh, ipinasa sa Syriac uh, version and then napunta rin sa King James version na ang ibig sabihin nito ay mamo, mamonas, 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 o ganyan pala, mamonas, mamonas kayo. Okay, bago kayo pumakasok dito. Sa English, mamon lang. Ang ibig sabihin nitong mamon ay it's a personification of something. Uh, itinutulat ito sa isang persona na may hawak. Okay? It personifies possession. A man's possession. Kung ano ang pag-aari mo ang possession mo. So it runs just uh, not only on money matters. What's your possessions? Okay? Maring lupain or whatever. Okay? It means wealth. <clears throat> wealth. Kayamanan. It means riches. And last, the most familiar meaning is it means money. Okay? Sino sa inyo sa umagang ito, you have no money. Be honest. You have no money. Okay, wala. Tutulungan ko pa naman sana. So, mabuti lang na tayo lang may pera. <laughs> okay? So, dito ay ating mapapansin. Ang dalawang salitang ito ay mahalaga na maunawaan natin. Hindi masama ang magkaroon kayo ng pera. Hindi masama na kayo ay magkaroon ng kasaganaan sa pera. It's not wrong for you to have money, more money, and much money. Kung akala nyo mali ito, ibigay nyo sa akin. <laughs> At itutulog ko sa iba. There's nothing wrong with that because money is neither moral nor immoral. It's non-moral. It's not 
money which is sin or evil. It's the love of money that is condemned in the Bible. Eh, maraming mayaman sa Biblia. Going back to Abraham. Si Abraham mayaman. Narian, si Job, pinakamayaman. Narian, si Solomon. Misandal nga lang niya lahat. At narian, si Joseph of Arimathea. Mga mayayaman ito. So, kaya nga lang, mas mahirap sa isang taong mayaman ang makapasok ng kaarian kaysa mga hindi mga mayayaman. Why? Because dito ang failure na rito. It's not money per se which is evil or sin. Neuter kasi yun eh. It's the love of money. And the Apostle Paul said about money, sabi niya, For the love of money is the root of all. In this is Sister Rota. The root of all evil is the love of money. It's not money. Kaya nga, ang warning dito sa atin ng Panginoon, last mahalin tulad tayo sa mga naging katiwala na ito ay sa dulo ng buhay nila is regrettable or tragic. Maiwasan na natin ito. Dito ay ating mapapansin kung ano ang uh, uh, risk o panganib ng uh, kayamanan o ng salapi. It's hard for a rich man to enter into life, sabi ng Panginoon. Pero hindi ibig sabihin wala sapagkat maraming tinuro sa Bible na nasa langit, sa sandaling ito na tayo narito nagtitipon. Dito ay ating mapapansin kung ano ang maaring gawin ng pera o ano mang bagay ito, hindi maaring pera o ari-arian o ng tao o ng iyong source of income na trabaho. Ito ang risk. Nung panahon ng America was a young republic, They seceded uh, sa England as a commonwealth at sila'y nagkaroon ng uh, paghimagsik na gusto nila magkaroon sila ng uh, kalayaan, freedom. They really fought for it. At nung ang Amerika ay nag sa ilalim ng mga constitutionalist, <clears throat> mga brilliant statesman uh, tulad ni uh, Benjamin Franklin the oldest among the congressional uh, delegate in framing the US Constitution at uh, si uh, Thomas Jefferson and may a host of others <clears throat> he was given uh, the honor si uh, ito si Benjamin Franklin na malaki ang contribution niya as a statesman, as a very uh, wise, intelligent man na doon sa meeting para ma-frame yung constitution ng Amerika, <clears throat> nagsalita siya sa mga congressional delegates na ito ang siyang uh, mag, uh, susulat ng uh, kanilang uh, constitution, constitution and uh, of course Bill of Rights. Nung siya ay magsalita, simple lamang ang kanyang dinalang mensahe na ito ay makasaysayan. <clears throat> Being the oldest and no doubt one of uh, the wisest statesmen doon sa mga delegates, sa congressional meeting na ito, I would like to remind you all here, congressional uh, representatives dito, that there are two, dalawang passions ang maaring maging powerful influence sa atin. Two powerful passions that will influence your life. It will direct 
your life as an outcome. Sabi niya, the first of these two powerful passions that will influence you and me na dapat maging maingat tayo. Number one, sa dalawang powerful influences na ito, number one, the power na ito ay layunin ng tao. Na power, the love of power. Ang pag-ibig sa kapangyarihan na maaring kayo ay magiging kapit tuko sa inyong mga kinaupuan bilang mga politiko. Kaya sa Amerika, ang mga congressmen, congresswomen, kahit sinisira na nila ang bansa, ay patpahabaan ng upo sa kongreso. Samantalang ang Amerika at ang uh, uh, vice president ay four years lang. But the congressman ay tumanda na doon. Pangalawa na totoo ito, hindi lang kapit ko sa posisyon because of the power. Second, nasabi niya na ingatan natin na uh, a powerful passion ito that will influence man is to hold on to power. Pangalawa, sabi niya, ano nga ba yun? The love of money. At least nahulaan na ninyo. The love of money. The love of power and the love of money. What are we in power for? They am us. Ito ang mga politicians. There's a difference between a statesman and a politician. Yung ating mga nung panahon ni La Quezon ay ang mga nakaupo sa pwesto, mga nirekto, Luminaris ito ay statesman sila. They uh, uh, attend to the welfare of the people. Ang politician is self-serving, selfish. Okay, the moment na kayo kumukuha ng selfie, politician kayo. <laughs> I don't mean that. I don't want you to... Okay. The love of power and the love of money. So nakita na ninyo ang danger ng pera. Money will change a man. Money will change your motive. It will change your mood. It will change your manner. It will change a lot sa buhay mo. Kung ang pera ay siyang naging Panginoon sa buhay mo, ikaw, kaysa ikaw ang Panginoon ng pera mo. Hindi ka kinokontrolan ng anumang kayamanan. At hindi ito nagiging balakid between you and God. Anything. Hindi lang pera. Hindi lamang ar-arian. Maaring trabaho kahit pamilya mo na mas pinapahalagahan mo kaysa Panginoon ay ang service mo sa Panginoon is not really approved of God. Alam niyo bakit? Because it's half-hearted. Sinabi ng Panginoon, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So, yung apat na salitang mamon, that sa conclusion, sinabi ng, you cannot serve God or gold. Because gold represents wealth. You cannot serve both. You will love one and hate the other. It's a fact of life. And that is how far God weigh us in our lives. Hindi masama ang pera. Ang pag-ibig sa pera, nagrabe na. Pera na lang ang mahalaga sa iyo. Di ba ganun yun ngayon, lalo na sa panahon ng pandemic? 
terrible. This is a world problem. The world economy, kaya nga bumabagsak eh. Bakit? Dahil sa misuse, abuse ng pera. The second truth that God would have you to notice in these two references, no one can serve two masters. You cannot serve God and gold. Two references sa Matthew. The first appearance of this ay doon ito'y bahagi ng sa chapter 6. Bahagi ito ng tinaguri ang Sermon on the Mount. Na dito inahayag ang tunay na anyo at tunay na kalagayan o kalikasan ng isang anak ng Diyos na tinagurian ng Panginoon dito sa parabolang ating uh, uh, sinusuri, the kingdom of light. Yung mga anak ng Diyos. Ang payo niya over and over again, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Lay not up treasures upon earth where moth rust thieves doth break in. You lose it sooner or later. But your mindset would be to, uh, to set your affections toward heaven. You put more premium and value on things that last, on things that are forever. Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, not treasures on earth. That's why it's an address to each one of us for us to make a self-examination of our own hearts. Because God cannot accept half-hearted service, half-hearted worship sa Kanya. Gusto niya buong puso. At itong liyok sa parable naman ito ay binanggit rin ng Panginoon and at the closing ay uh, binigyan ng Panginoon ng paalalang bawat isa kung meron mang matimbang mas mahalaga sa buhay ninyo ay ang mga bagay na mga pangwalahanggan na ang Panginoon ay hindi naalis sa ating isipan o sa ating puso ano man ang sitwasyon kinaruro na natin ano man ang kalagayan natin sa ating pananalapi o sa iba-ibang bagay sa buhay na ito God must be in our thoughts in our minds and in our hearts Madali ba yun? It is easier said than done. Kaya nga itong parabola mismo, mahirap ito. Sapagat napagkakamalan ang Panginoon na siya ang Lord dito. Not so. Why? Because yung Lord na ginamit dito ng Panginoon ay all small letters. Yung unjust steward na meron rin siyang unjust Lord who is also shrewd who is also a scoundrel, who is earthly wise, smart, hindi globe, ay ito ay hindi papapulihan na Panginoon. Pero yung Lord dito, sabi niya, wala kang iniba sa atin. We are both smart, worldly wise. Magaling tayo talagang dalawa. Like, Master like follower, kaya doon nagtatapos ang similarity. Ginamit lang ito ng Panginoon para bigyan ng paalala at babala ang bawat alagad. Lest pagharap nila sa Panginoon ay sila ay they would blush. The second thing that we must notice here, ang idinidiin dito ng Panginoon sa likod ng salitang, no man can serve two masters talagang grabe yung stewardship. If a man love his father, mother, father, mother, sister, brother, children, yea, even in his own life, he is not worthy of Christ. She cannot be a disciple kung mas mahalaga divided ang puso mo. If any man be my disciple, let him take up his cross daily and follow me no matter what the cost may be. 
if you really love God truly and heartily. Ang hirap makalusot dito. <laughs> But it's easier said than done. Second, the motive na ibinigay ng Panginoon, dalawa lamang ang motibong dinadrive home ng Panginoon na matutunan natin dito sa parabolang ito at sinabi ng Panginoon that we have to rearrange or prioritize our lives on things that are pleasing to God. Set your heart in order. We have to be single-eyed, sabi ni James. Because if we are actually with a divided heart, hindi tayo mahapli sa Panginoon. Makasabi, hindi kayo makalingkod sa Panginoon. That's why you must learn how to turn your back. No matter put at his hand on the plow and look at back is fit for the kingdom of God. The very moment you uh, have a grip on God, never ever let go of following Him to the end. So dito ay mapapansin natin, dalawa lang naman, naiwasan na, maiwasan natin sa ating mga buhay, ang dalawang uh, thrust na motibo dapat sa ating uh, paglilingkod sa Panginoon ay dalawa. First of all, ay faith is essential. Because kung wala tayo, without faith, it is what? Impossible to please God. Faith is essential. In a sentence sermon, it may be this way. One liner na sermon. Part-time faith. Yung part-time faith. Like part-time jobs cannot support you. Kung part-time faith ka, tulad yan sa part-time job, hindi ka masusuportan ng part-time job. Right? Ang kailangan natin ngayon para tayo masuportahan sa ating mga pangailangan ay full-time work. Kung ganon ang faith na full of faith tayo sa Panginoon, well done. Yun na nakalulugod sa Panginoon. The second motive that God would have uh, us to consider and be impressed in our hearts is that of faithfulness. Dito yung sinabi ng Panginoon, don't resort to what uh, these worldly wise people are doing na sila ay uh, ginagamit nila ang unrighteous mammon uh, dito para sila ay makinabang, etc. at mga pansarili. Kayo, gamitin ninyo ang unrighteous mammon o anumang ipinagkatiwala sa inyo ng Panginoon na ito ay magkaroon kayo ng mga kaibigan na ito ay pangwalang hanggang blessing ang naipaabot nyo sa kanila at ito ay pagdating sa langit ay may mga sasalubong sa inyo at magpapasalamat. You were instrumental kung uh, bakit ako'y narito sa langit at bakit ako naligtas. At unang pagdating ko doon, ang unang kakamayan ko, pagpasok ko ng langit, ay ang nagdala sa akin sa Panginoon, si Pastor and Mrs. Baker. Talagang grabing hirap na dinanas nila sa akin. Grabing pag-uusig, etc. Napapaiyak ko yung mag-asawang yan. But they did the best for me in that they led me to a personal saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And then I will give all the praises and the glory to God and our Lord Jesus Christ for having used these missionaries. And some other missionaries were a blessing. Don't let the brother Bill Merritt, brother Lyons, and others. Second, namotib na nais ng Panginoon sa ating paglilingkod sa Panginoon, pagsasamba sa Panginoon, iwasan natin ang uh, half-hearted or double-hearted. We should have single-eyed, be single-eyed and single-hearted tayo. Looking unto Jesus and the gold. Hindi pwede yan. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. 
kahit wala kang pera, when you are focused and your priority that counts most as very important that you cannot do without in this life, and this is Jesus Christ, that's good enough before God. You can go to heaven without any of this. But you cannot go to heaven without that faith and that love for Jesus. After all, He saved you. Tanda nyo, ang context address ito sa mga disciples. The second is faithfulness. Dinamit yan dito sa salita ng Panginoon na sa unrighteous mammon, handle it right. Don't waste it. Don't, don't squander it. Use it for the glory of God and for making friends and leading sinners to Christ. Kailangan sa gawain ng Panginoon ito para maisulong ang Ibanghelyo at masuportahan ang mga ngaral at malolhati ang ating Panginoon. If you cannot go, then send. But if you cannot go yourself, either S kahit P. Or personally, Y. Yen. Hindi <laughs> lang tayo mas umisip ng peso. <laughs> dahil bali, magiging for the kingdom, magiging S dollar. Peso. Pagkatapos, Y. You are in the best intelligence network. <laughs> you are an agent of heaven. <laughs> okay. Faithfulness. It must sabi ni Apostle Paul and believe you me, when he uh, had an encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ, no turning back, no turning back, not any moment sa buhay niya na siya ay uh, nanghina o nalayo sa Panginoon. Kaya sabi ni Apostle Paul, speaking to other uh, Christians during his lifetime, sabi niya, Moreover, it's required in stewards that a man be found faithful. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. Are you a faithful child of God? Na dito you are addressed as a child of light? Because this message is addressed to you and this motive should be what prompts our heart and faithfulness. I'm trying to beat the time. Isang araw, this is a true story. This happened sa buhay ng isang preacher and pastor na hinahangaan ko dahil sa siya ay expository preacher. in expose niya talaga ang mensahe ng Bible. Ang kanyang pangalan ay G. Campbell Morgan. He may not be the prince of expository preacher, but he is an expert expository preacher just the same. Isa sa mga I put uh, premium and value on reading his sermons. Sabi, this is a personal experience nung siya narito pa sa lupa. Sabi ni uh, uh, G. Campbell Morgan nung siya nanyayahan sa bahay ng isang napakayamang Kristiyano. I do not know, hindi niya sinabi kung membro ng church niya or ano man, but definitely, siguro parang baptist, ay siya ina, inanyayahan sa tahanan nito. So, inaccommodate siya, binigay sa kanya lahat, superb na lahat uh, na uh, hospitality ang sa kanya ipinaabot. At isang umaga, nung sila ay pagkatapos ng almusal, ay umupo the family, at naroon si J. Campbell Morgan in their midst, ay nagsalita yung napakayamang tatay at host. At ang salita ng napakayamang host na ito, ang sabi niya, nung nanalangin sila, sabi niya, 
ipanalangin natin yung mga gawain ng Panginoon at saka yung mga missionaries. And talagang sa puso niyang ipinanalangin. However, pagkatapos niyang manalangin para sa mga manggagawa ng Panginoon, sa mga missionaries at sa gawain ng Panginoon, ay hindi mapigil ng kanyang sampung taong anak. Sabi niya, Dad, you prayed eloquently. Napakaganda ng panalangin mo. Medyo na flatter yung tatay. Napakaganda ng panalangin mo. Uh, amen, anak. Pero, tay, daddy, kung ako lang ang naroon sa lugar ng panalangin mo, ako ang nanalangin, at ako, sapagkat pinanalangin mo sila at mga pangailangan ng mga missionaryng ito at ng mga gawain ito, kung ako lang nasa lugar mo, daddy, ay kung ako ay may bank book tulad mo na akin ang bank book mo, kalahati ng panalangin mo, nasagot na. <laughs> Kasi panalangin pala, pero ayaw magdukot <laughs> sa bulsa. Di ba? Wow! Larawan na marami mga Kristiyano, gagaling manalangin. Pero hindi naman sila dumudukot. Okay? Hindi naman sila handa na magbigay o sumuporta. Wow! What a sad commentary. Medyo na napahiya. Nag-blush yung tatay niya. Sometimes, mas mat, matatalino pa yung mga bata. Kaysa matanda. <laughs> Dahil na pagdating sa spiritual. Spiritual. Kasi mga matatay, sabi nila, alam ko na yan. Puro alam na natin. Kulang lang tayo application. Diba? <laughs> Doon tayo. We know the theories, but we are poor in its application, yung practice. Practicum na kailangan natin ngayon. Okay? So, last, alam na natin ngayon, ang moral ng story ito na sinabi ng Panginoon at pagkatapos si Klaus, no man can, to, uh, can serve uh, two masters, you cannot serve God and mammon. Hindi po pwede yan. They will clash. There will always be a conflict. Pero pag God first sa buhay niyo, tulad ng panahon ng Smite Singers from Lynchburg, Virginia, Liberty Baptist College under uh, the late brother uh, Jerry Falwell, nagpunta dito sa Pilipinas sa mga churches, Smite Singers, student missionary in evangelism, etc. Tinapatan ito ng ating mga singers. Sila ay Smite Singers. Magagaling talaga. Sa atin ay mga Termite Singers. Tawanan kami nung panahon. Meron rin kami mga pambat, mga Termites. <laughs> so, anyway, <clears throat> ay oh, sarili nilang mga expenses na pinakipunan nilang mga estudyante. They work and they uh, pay their way to school and then uh, set aside uh, some money para makatravel as singer evangelist. Nag-evangelize, nag-share ng gospel. Smart singers. Ang kanilang pin, I wonder kung meron pa kayo yung mga all-time members pa doon, ang pin nila, hindi yung flag ng Amerika, ang pin nila ay is sort of a fish ng sabi doon, Jesus first. Sino sa inyo buhay ng membro ng makarating dito sa Pilipinas yung smart singers na ang banner nila, ang motto nila is Jesus first. And that is exactly The moral that uh, Brother uh, Alan and Sister Vicky would like us to understand that in all thy ways, acknowledge Him. And not only will God direct your past, but you will be able to hear Him commend you. The just Lord, Master, and returning King will be be coming back well done thou good and faithful servant alam mo anak lugod na lugod ako sa iyo talagang hindi mo ako ipinahiya talagang matapat ka hanggang sa wakas either by way of death 
or by way of meeting him in the rapture. And we know for a fact that with world events today, anything could surprisingly happen without prior notice, just like the rapture. Everything will be left behind. And may God speak to our hearts na tayo talaga ay maging steadfast sa pananampalataya. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Lahat ng iyong mga pagpapagal, lahat ng iyong paglilingkod, lahat ng iyong uh, pagsasamba sa Panginoon ng buong buhay mo, kasama ang bulso mo, kasama ang lahat, isa ang puso mo na ito ay looking unto Jesus. I did what I did for you, Lord. And I give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. May God bless you. Let's pray. Pini-prevent nito ng Panginoon as He uh, uh, gave us this message na tayo ay dahil sa mamon ay mahadlagan at maging matulad kay Judas o sa iba pang mga tao sa Biblia at sa labas ng Biblia na dahil sa salapi na siyang ugat ng lahat ng kasamaan ay tayo rin ay maging tulad ni Silas Marner na walang inatubag kundi ang kanyang iniingat-ingatang ibinabaong pilak sa hukay na binabalik-balik niya and that is all that matters to him and one day someone stole it nakita siya stole it at he was regretting and somebody told him, bakit ka nagsisisi? Wala namang silbi yun sa iyo. At ngayon, namimiss mo. Piniprevent nitong salitang ito ng Panginoon. No man can serve two masters. You cannot serve God and mamon ang tayo maging covetous Christians. Take heed and beware of covetous covetousness for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of things which he possesseth. Ang wika ng Panginoon sa isang taong mayaman that he thought for the rest of his long life on earth uh, he would make money, more money and much money and he told himself in his heart you soul You made it great. And I will adopt the hedonistic philosophy and tell my soul, soul, kaluluwa ko, eat, drink, and be merry. I never gave and never gave a thought about dying. But the Lord, sinalungat siya, O fool, sa gabing ito, your soul will be required of you. Kailangan natin ang contentment with such thing as we have rather than fall for covetousness. Because ang risk kung tayo ay maging tulad ng mga mayayamang nagpanggap na alagad ay nailigaw. Ang pananalig at pagtitiwala sa Panginoon is a very poor bargain indeed. May God wisen us up And may God help us set our priorities in order and that we would cleave to those things which are lasting that we can never lose even after life on earth is over. And may God help us to be a faithful steward of God and serve God single-heartedly with one heart and with one mind. Our Father, we close this service with thanksgiving.
that you have entrusted us as your steward, your managers, your trustees with what we have in this life. The abilities to get money, work so that we can have money or the talent so to speak or whatever abilities that have benefited us and helped others and above all oh lord help us that in the midst of this this would not be a barrier between us nor be a burden to me so that i cannot follow you continually daily and as we leave this place bound for respective homes knowing that each one that is here i a disciple of the marvelous grace of god a child of the light we pray that you would impress the saying of the lord jesus christ a popular one but it's easier said than done as i said over and over again yet we can be able to do it god helping us and we lean upon you we depend upon you because without you we can do nothing we are just weaklings but we have the greatest power in us above us around us before us beneath us and that is the power of the holy spirit your comforter guide us safely with our respective homes and encourage us and bless us that we might continually grow in the knowledge of the altogether lovely one Jesus Christ our returning Lord King Savior Creator God we thank you Father for availing us these graces and these mercies, may it overflow in our lives and saturate our beings from the crowns of our heads to the soles of our feet. And as we leave this place, we give you the sincere, true thanksgiving from our hearts. Thank you, Lord, all because of Jesus and for his sake. And the people of God said, Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed Lord's Day morning. Thank you, everyone.